Hi, I'm back with another video, and this time it's the, oh, I can get it up, Duncan Hines Dolly Parton's Fabulously Fudgy Brownie Mix includes fudgy syrup. Um, here's what it looks like. Yeah, I, I'm, <coughs> my pan and I have had some issues with this because on the box it talks about which kind of pans, you know, they, you know, like sizes, like a lot of them do. And then it said to add three to five minutes for glass pans. Well, my pan is not, I think, any of those they had listed. So I used one of my brownie mixes I still have as my guideline for putting in for time. So I put it in for that time and then I checked it and then I knew I'd probably have to add in the three to five minutes for a glass pan. So it's taking a little bit of time on seeing if it would actually cook right. But I did everything I said, large egg, half a cup melted butter, three tablespoons of milk. Did all that stuff that it said to do. So, I mean, they look good. They smell good. I'm hoping that they are fully cooked. I mean, they seem like they are, but sometimes the toothpick I put in still isn't, you know, completely clean. But that could be because, you know, it's still warm, I guess you could say. You can see all the little holes for my little toothpicks. And then here they got Dolly's favorite pecan pie brownies on the back. So when I went to the grocery store, I decided to pick it up because I was like looking at all the different cake mixes and brownies and I'd been looking at the Dolly Parton collection and I was like, one of these days I'm going to grab it. And so when I was in there, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and grab it and go ahead and try it out. So far, like I said, I think it's my pan I'm using. It, you know, it, like I said, it doesn't have this, you know, it's like it's not that size on there, I don't think. When I went looking, trying to figure out the sizing, it, I don't think it's that one either one and so I had to adjust it of course and then because it's glass pan I added the three to five minutes and so it's taking a little bit of time to see if I cook all the way through I think it is like I said the toothpick but I've had issues in the past with the toothpicks still being kind of having cut stuff on it and figuring out if it is cooked it's just I think it's the warmth from the brownies but I mean it seems like it's cooked I've done it a bunch of times putting it in there to make sure it cooked all the way through. Um, I did have issues with the melting of the butter. When I melted it, I found out I didn't have enough, so I had to melt some more. Um, I was a little nervous about melting the butter thing because I'm so used to, so far, you're doing the ones with the egg and the cooking oil and that being it. So, I mean, they smell good. They look like they're good. So hopefully they taste good. Like I said, they seem like they're cooked all the way through. And like I said, I've put this in like, I think this was the fourth or fifth time I've put it in to make sure I added it. Like I said, the three to five minutes, I added an extra minute. I'm like, it's gotta be cooked all the way through because I don't know how many more times I can put it in. So hopefully this Duncan Hines Dolly Parton Fabulously Fudgy Brownie Mix tastes good. Right now it's still warm, still hot. So I'm going to have to let it cool down before I get to try it. So hopefully it tastes good and I'll be back with part two on how it tastes. Thank you for watching. Bye.